today I'm going to be discussing about the Dijkstra single source sorttest path algorithm. It's actually a greedy algorithm. In greedy algorithm, we, the greedy algorithms are used to uh, solve the optimization problem. In the case of optimization problem, we always try to maximize or minimize something. Like we try to uh, maximize the profit from some uh, uh, collection of objects by selling those or minimizing the cost. It could be the labor cost, uh, material cost, whatever. Now, in greedy strategy, whatever seems to be best at current situation, that is taken as a choice. Greedy has no way to review its previous choice or it will, it will not think about future like a greedy person. He needs everything at the current moment. So let's try to see how we can find out the shortest path from one source to all other vertex using Dijkstra's algorithm. In order to do the Dijkstra's algorithm, we need to have three data structure. One is the priority queue and two array. In the first array, which contains the shortest distance from the source to that uh, vertex. Uh, in let's say that in this row E, it means that uh, uh, what is the distance from reaching the source vertex to E? That is the shortest distance. And this parent array is very much useful to to uh, print the actual shortest path. Now, what about this priority queue? If you don't know about priority queue, let me say, uh, tell something about priority queue. Uh, in the priority queue, uh, all the items can be added any time, but uh, the item which is extracted or deleted depends on the priority of the item. I am using here the min heap implementation. It means that which has the least, uh, least value of priority that would be picked up first. Now let's try to apply the Dijkstra's algorithm in our example graph. So initially I have filled all the entry to zero and I have set uh, this uh, di uh, distance to the parent to zero and uh, the parent of the source vertex is nothing. Now. First, I'm going to add the source vertex in this priority queue and the priority is 0. Now, from next, we should keep extracting the min and uh, check all of that, all of the adjacent vertex of that extract tech node and try to update this content of this, uh, uh, of these two array. So first, if I try to extract min, I will get this one, A, 0. Now I should look for all of its adjacent vertex that so adjacent vertex of A are B and D. So let's try to write down B and D. Now I would check uh, for all of these vertex that if distance to reach this vertex is greater than distance to reach the source vertex uh, that we will get from this table plus weight of the edge source to this vertex. So first let's try to check for B distance to reach uh, B we can get that from in this table which is infinity and now distance to reach the source is zero we can get that from this uh, this table plus distance to, uh, plus the weight of the edge ab which is one so you can clearly see that one is uh, infinity is greater than one so we should update this two array i can write one here because i have found something better and the parent of b is a because now we are reaching to b uh, via b uh, a now then i can add this to this priority queue and the second the priority would be this distance all right now what about d now distance to reach d is infinity and uh, distance to uh, reach the source vertex is zero plus the weight of a d is one so infinity is greater than 1 so I should update the content of these two matrix let's write 1 because I have found something better and the parent of D is A now I can add this entry in this priority queue and this priority would be the second distance uh, the distance all right now if I again try to ex uh, do the extract mean I will get any one of these two because the, uh, their priority are same it doesn't matter let's take B first so Let's try to write down. All right. So now, what are the adjacent vertex of B? C and D are the adjacent vertex. Now, let's check for C. Now, distance to reach C is infinity. And distance to reach uh, the source vertex B is 1. Plus, uh, this, uh, the weight of edge BC is 9. So, infinity is greater than 9. 
uh, a 10 so what i can do here i can update the content of this two array let's write 10 here and parent of c is b and i can up nq this node c and distant would be 10 all right now let's take a d this now distance to reach d is 1 and uh, distance to uh, reach the source vertex that is b is 1 also plus uh, the weight of edge b d is 1 so 1 is not greater than 2 so i i should discard this vertex all right again the cube is not empty so we can extract the min again so if we tr do the extract min i will get uh, d and 1 now what are the adjacent vertex of d there are only one adjacent vertex e now let's check for e now distance to reach e is infinity and uh, distance to reach the sort vertex that is d uh, is 1 plus the weight of the edge d e uh, is 3 now we can see that infinity is greater than 4 so i should update the content here i should write 4 here and the parent of e is d and i should nq the node e and the distance to this one 4 all right now again the cube is not empty so i can do the extract min also so if i do the extract min i will get e for this entry now so what are the adjacent uh, vertex of e the adjacent vertex of e is only the c now let's look for c now distance to reach c is 10 and now distance to reach the source vertex that is e is 4 plus the weight of the edge e c is that uh, 1 now 10 is greater than 5 so what we should do we should update the content of this array uh, i should set distance to 5 and again i should uh, update this content the parent of e is now uh, the parent of c is now e all right again i should nq this vertex uh, c, uh, c and uh, the distance is 4 now if i try to do again the extract me sorry this one should be 5 uh, if i try to do extract min again i will get this entry c now what are the adjacent vertex of c c has no adjacent vertex so c would be automatically discarded and again if i do the extract min again i will get c c has no such adjacent vertex so it means that the queue is now empty we are done so you can see that we have get all the shortest path uh, all the distance and this is uh, this contains the parent now here comes the question if someone asks how to print out the shortest path from a to e or any other vertex how we can do that for that we should have to check in this array let's say that i want to find out the shortest path uh, uh, from a to e the first the first thing i should have to do i should have to write e here because e will be the end vertex now i should look for e in this uh, in this uh, matrix in this array so i would get d and so let's write down d again go to the d uh, there is a entry a let's write down a now go to a it has uh, no parent so we should immediately stop there so we found the shortest path you can see that we can reach uh, to a uh, from a d e that is the shortest distance which has a cost of 4 now let's look at the pseudo code for dijkstra's algorithm so here i have defined a function called dijkstra's shortest path and i am taking the graph adjacency loop as well as the source vertex so what i have done here i have set all the distance uh, to infinity and their parent to null that makes sense uh, next i have defined a priority queue where value is just the name of the vertex and the priority is the distance or the shortest distance to that vertex now initially i have set distance to the source vertex is zero that also makes sense and i have added this uh, entry in the priority queue so i have added the vs and zero in the priority queue now from next i would keep extracting the min while the queue is not empty the extract mean operation will give us uh, the vertex which has the less uh, which has the highest priority or which has the less distance now uh, from next i am and i am trying to figure out what are the adjacent vertex of u for all vi adjacent to u and if the distance to reach vi is greater than uh, distance of the shortest path uh, 
or the value of the shortest part of u plus weight of the edge uh, ub then i am updating the entry of this array because we have found something better and i am setting the parent of vi to u because now we are reaching to vi through u and i am adding this entry uh, vi and this distance to this priority queue so in this way we will get the shortest part now if someone asks you the time complexity of this algorithm if we use the priority queue and the adjacency list representation this would take us uh, v log e amount of time to compute the shortest part now if you use the adjacency matrix representation that would take us order of v square amount of time 